What's going on? Again, we're number one of eight in the queue. Good times, good times. So we have another stipulation, because uh, we're going to keep going through them until there's no more left. And it's by a longtime subscriber and fan of the stream, Matthew Ori. Um, and Matthew Ori's stipulation is a birthday stipulation draft. Mana rock ramp. Take all the mana rocks first. You may also pick bombs that cost at least six mana first. X spells are included in this. So Sphinx's Revelation. Um, Genesis Wave. There are no mana rocks, thankfully, because I want to take this Ancestral Recall. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Take all the mana rocks. You also pick bombs that cost at least six mana. There are, I think Leshnorn would fall into that category, but probably not a bomb, actually. Probably just a, a solid reanimation target. So we're going to Ancestral Recall. Can you pick an Ancestral or a Time Walk over a mana rock? Um, that's a good question. Usually you want to make uh, an exception for power in cube because power is always the exception. You always want to take... You never want to... Uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Disadvantage yourself by passing power. And um, when you're playing the Vintage Cube, passing power just makes for a less fun experience, I think. So I'm going to take this Ancestral Recall. And I, I still like the way this is ordered. Like we ordered it by, we sorted by color. So now it's white, blue, black, red, green, gold, lands, and artifacts. And it's so much easier to parse in my head. Um, so if I'm like in Mana Rocks, I can always go to the end of the pack and see if I can find them instead of being like, well, here's a Gilded Lotus. Here's a, uh, you know, Hedron Archive. Here's a, a Signet. You know, it's instead of being by rarity. Um, so it's just a nice, especially in Vintage Cube. In regular draft, you probably want the, the rare first, but it's probably just Volcanic Island. Took okay, Ancestral. I think I just want the land here. Oh, man, I'm awful. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the three months in a row. Good times. Ancestral is a trap. Oh, boy. Actually, Lumbering Falls might be... No, it's got to be Volcanic Island. Volcanic Island being a dual land is pretty huge. No mana rocks. Matthew, what's going on here? I'm going to take this underground scene. We're just going to take all of the, the, blue, the blue dual lands to see what we end up as. Um, we could take Steam Vents and solidify ourselves a little more solidly in red, which could be good. Underground Sea is very, very strong, though. A trap that drives you three cards at instant speed for one minute. This trap drives you three cards at instant speed for one minute. I mean mana. Yeah, we'll take the C. Oh, Lotus Bloom is a mana rock, so is Celestia Signet. Hmm. Woodfall is not a bomb. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No. I'm going to take the Lotus Bloom because I think it's a better mana rock than Celestia Signet. In this deck specifically, you can stay in the main deck. Oh, this is kind of like a mana rock, right? I think I'd rather just take Sphinx's Revelation, but it is a white spell, and we already have two of these guys. Is Channel a mana rock? Hmm. Nobody knows. Metalworker looks good, but we don't have that many artifacts yet. Channel is just a lot easier to do. But actually, we're, we're drafting a bunch of mana rocks, so I'm going to take this metal worker. What if we don't get any mana rocks at all? Oh, God. That would be so awkward. All right, so we're literally blue right now. <laughs> and we have a red and a black fixer. Fixer upper. Can anyone write down... S yeah, you can just hit, you can just hit command step. Come on, buddy. I don't think it's Wheel of Fortune. I'm not a big Wheel fan, I'll be honest with you guys. I think it's either Duplicate or Sword of Fire and Ice. I'm a big Sword of Fire and Ice fan. Especially because we have Metal Worker. Duplicate is nice. But I'm going to take the sword here. I like that a little bit better. Matthew, this has to be the fewest mana rocks I have ever seen. Um, Tassiger is actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, I'm going to take the Tasker here. 
especially with uh, the ancestral. That's pretty easy to fill the graveyard, I would imagine. Concealed courtyard. Shriek Maw seems fine here. Still no mana rocks. Where are my mana rocks at? Hey, Rick, I heard you were doing a mana rock stipulation. That means you don't want any, right? Okay, I'm going to do that for you. Magic Online 2018. Uh, Nahiri, I, I don't really want to... I don't really want a blue-white card to go with our mana rock... Uh, a red-white card to go with our mana rock blue-white blue deck. I just said a bunch of things. I'm just going to stop talking because it's painful. Hangerback Walker actually seems pretty good with the mana rock stipulation nothing good here really I'm just gonna take Dragon Lord of Tarka because YOLO Shrine of Burning Rage, that could be a thing. It's probably not a thing. It's a... Whatever. This card's good. Or just take the Banishing Light. Yeah, I'll just take Banishing Light. Maybe we're Esper. Argyle's Bloodfast actually seems very, very good in this cube. Yeah, I'll take Bloodfast. Hey, we could actually be white here. That's pretty cool. To Exodus, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Sure. That guy's playable if we're not white. Mana rocks, mana rocks. Where are my mana rocks? Mana rocks, mana rocks. There are no. There's literally zero mana rocks. What's going on here? Force of Will seems good. We're barely blue at this point. I almost like Remand better than Force of Will. Wow, one good card in a pile. That's amazing. Pretty sure you uh, don't know how Vintage Cube works because most cards are piles when you don't actually... Like, even if it's with Sneak Attack, you're just like, oh, you got Dragon Lord Tarka and a Sunder Titan. That's a bunch of junk. Misty does get both our duels, but I don't think, it's, I think, we're, I don't think we're playing Volcanic Island. I think I'd just rather have a Force of Will at this point. Also, Walking Blista could be... Actually, Walking Blista is probably the pick here, especially with Metal Worker. We're going to take a Walking Blista. We're just going to go ham. Also, Walking Blista kills a lot of things in this cube, surprisingly enough. Ooh, Worn Power Stone is a Mana Rock. Also, Talarian Academy. I think we're probably more of a Worn Power Stone deck right now. I'm still there with the Winter Orb Pass? I don't even... Like, Winter Orb's not even good. We don't have Mana Rocks yet. What if we're not even blue? What if we're just a black, right, black, black white metal... Well, we're always going to be blue because we have Underground Sea and Lotus Bloom. So... I will always be blue. I just started watching his Torrential Gurex to the little race. You can cast all the sorceries you're going to draft. That's the best troll I've ever heard. And I'm a really big fan of it. That is fantastic. Oh, God. 42 nonsense. Wonderful, dude. Absolutely wonderful. Um, This is Ancestral Recall, Brickbeard. Not Ancestral, not Ancestral Vision, buddy. I think I'm just going to take the Leovold here, and maybe we're green instead. Because the white, the Leovold is actually better than, than, than the white cards we have. I think Batter Skull is also probably good. I'm just going to take the Batter Skull. I'm not going to mess with the good thing here. Ooh, Academy Ruins. We're also three colors, though. Do we just play Bolas and splash it for off of Volcanic Island? Is that a six plus mana bomb when we're, when we're ramping with Mana, mana Rockies? Leopold is better. Uh, you know, based on the, the quality of opponents that we've had in the Vintage Cube. Vampiric Tutor also pretty good. I think we're just taking Bolas. Matthew Ori likes Bolas, so I'm going to go Bolas. 
We have the Volcanic Island, so it's basically just free. Oh, Scarab God. You guys know how I feel about the, the Scrabble God. The answer is pretty good. If you guys came to this stream to watch me take Vampiric Tutor over Nicobolus, I got some bad news for you guys. It's either Scarab God or it actually could be um, Caracas. I think it's Scarab God. Scarab God is insanely strong. And we have no real incentive to be white except for the Swords to Plowshares right now, which is very, very good. I like Ultimate Price. I like Soulfire Grandmaster. Is Chrome Mox... See, here's the problem with taking Chrome Mox in a deck like this is that a lot of times you don't actually have enough cards like to exile with it, with to make it... Like, we actually don't have that many spells that we want to exile for Chrome Mox. And honestly, I think Swords is probably just better for us. It is a mana rock. I mean, I'll take it. That's fine. It's... I'll agree. It's a man. It's... Is it a... Is it a mana rock, though? I would assume mana rocks have to produce two colors. Not one, but... I don't know. Is this a mana rock, guys? Did you guys know that this is a mana rock? Bloom only makes one color. Okay, well, that's something. I will take a Fatal Push. Oh, Pentad Prism. Zealous Conscripts is a win con. Zealous Conscripts and Kikijiki in the same pack is just downright criminal. Pentad Prism seems good. Correct. No Moxes or Mana Rocks. <laughs> uh, this pack is oh, actually, Shambling Gun's fantastic for us. That's great. Anguish done making is good. Massacre Room is also very, very good, especially with a bunch of mana rocks. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Massacre Room. Why? Why do you do this? That was a late of old. I think our deck is looking pretty sweet right now, actually. We have a lot of artifacts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Soulfire Grandmaster is actually a treat in this deck because if we get the mana for it, we can actually flash back our Ancestral a bunch. We're actually, we might just be splashing blue here. It might be black, white, splash, blue. Unfortunately, this costs double blue to activate, and so does Tassiger. Oh, we have more functional white cards in the deck than blue cards. Or I guess we have three of each. Mox Emerald. Is this a mana rock? This looks like a mana rock. It's an off-color mana rock, but it's a mana rock. Soulfire has two targets. One of them is Ancestral Recall, though, so that's basically like having ten targets. I'm going to take Mox Emerald. You're a mana rock? <laughs> Dang. Got him. I got got him. I didn't think I could get that wrecked. Eh, Celestial Colony is pretty good. When there's no artifacts to take. 42 Nonsense. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Colonnade here. Uh, I don't think it's any of the blue cards because we've already established that we're heavier. Anytime I see shoulder in a deck, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, that's pretty hilarious. Chad, your your appreciation for Shieldred is so... This is what Chad... This, <laughs> it's, it's my birthday! I actually saw Thor Ragnarok like four times in theaters, so I'm very familiar with that song that gets... Ooh, a scrubby. Scrub Daddy. 
I don't like the odds of us having four black mana here, so I'm just going to take the good scrubland that actually is perfect for our deck. Uh, they're, they're minerals. <laughs> oh, did you get some more of your mana rocks? They're mana minerals, Marie. That's an on point. That's an on point Breaking Bad meme. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, four cards are in here. I, I think we can take Lingering Souls. Especially with Sword of Fire and Ice. And I I think this Porcelain Gennaro will come back. That's my guess. I'm going to take the Lingering Souls. I think it's actually great for this deck. You bastard board Chemical Man? That's about Who's Chemical Man? What is that? What does that even mean? Who's Chemical Man? Chemical Man, Chemical Man, doing the things that a chemical can. Is he a rock or is he a mana rock? Chemical Man. Vindicate is actually pretty solid in this deck. I was actually, I passed the anguish on making and I was like, maybe we'll get a Vindicate at some point. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Do you, like, a lot of times when you have a Chrome Mox or a Mox Emerald, you take out a, a land for it so that you have. You know, less of them. I wonder... Emrakul is who you call Chemical Man? I don't think that works in any way, shape, or form. Any way, shape, or form is what I meant to say there. It's got to be Gruul Signet here. So that seems good. That actually is fine because it lets us splash Nicol Bolas a little bit easier. Council's Judgment, as you may have heard me say, is one of my favorite cards in this cube because it's very, very strong. However, Tide Hollow Sculler is a card that you can reel with Metalworker, which is super interesting to me. I still think it's Council's Judgment. It, it deals with things you, you otherwise can't deal with. If anything, I can cut Declaration in Stone, uh, relegate that to the sideboard. I'm, I'm definitely eager to play Arguel's Bloodfast. <sighs> it's my birthday. Kerwin, four minutes in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And it's like you've never left. We're splashing for three black card or three blue cards: Ancestral Recall, Scarab God, and Nicol Bolas. We have no four drops either, so I think these probably go in the four drop slot. I would imagine. I bet Tasker can be a four drop too. So their deck's probably going to look more like this. Why would we cut Shieldred? We can just cast it. We can just hard cast it, no less. I'm actually also interested in trying the uh, the Arguel's Bloodfast here. Sun Titan actually seems pretty good here. Banishing Light, we can get any of the swords. Soulfire Grandmaster, if it dies. Any of the signets. I can see taking braids, too, because we have Hangerback Walker. We have Pentad Prism. Lingering Souls. Huh. I want to take Sun Titan because I just think it's a stronger card. Gideon Jura is actually a, a real card. <laughs> I did say Pentad Prism. And uh, you are correct. That is not as powerful as as I would have liked. Kitchen Finks. Sword of Feast and Famine. Also another good sword that I can see just playing because we have Metalworker. So I'm going to do that. Um. Wow, this is a really late sneak attack. I want to take it. Oh, our boy came back. Guess who's back? Legion's back. Jura, you can go on the sideboard. Sun Titan, you can also go on the sideboard. Um, Let's just take land tax here. Smuggler's Copter is also... Wow, the title of Skeller came back too. That's gas. Oh, wow. Thank you. AK Williams, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome.
When do we bullet, bite the bullet and cut Ancestral? Well, considering we have three lands that uh, that can tap for blue, probably never. Literal never. I mean, I would sooner cut Scarab God or Nicol Bolas before that. I am tempted to drop Bloodfast, even though I do want to try it. I think it's the worst. Like, we also got Tidehall of Sculler, which is good. Actually, I'll probably cut Deck and Stone. We have Banishing Light, Council, and Vindicate for, for problematic cards. We also have a Shriek Maw. Swing Chopper, go ahead and post the link, buddy. I also see cutting Soulfire Grandmaster, but we do have two Sword of Feast and Famines. Wow, did you guys hear that? That was thunder. That was actually... Oh yeah, I did actually see this 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 stabbing that took place over some Magic the Gathering. It's yeah, pretty ridiculous. Do you guys hear that thunder? It was actually ridiculously loud. I also do want double sword because we do have lingering souls. We have a bunch of guys to equip it to. We have hangerback walker tokens. I can actually see cutting shielded. Oh god, Chad, I'm so I'm so sorry, buddy. Just because like we really don't have that many creatures that can get that we can get back with it. Or do we? No, we do. We got a good amount. We got like seven. I thought a truck crashed into your house. Yeah, dude, that was loud. That was loud. I, uh... We got one more cut to make here. This is also assuming we're not gonna... We're Lotus Bloom as a man... As a land. Also, these can go in, like, either... We'll put one on the four, one on the two, I guess. This is probably what the curve's gonna look like a little more accurately. What is... I don't know what Camster is. <laughs> F you, Thunder! You suck. Piss off, Thunder! I was just doing Korg, but I think yours is actually from a movie, and I don't know what it is. Is it from Ted? Wow, that's pretty funny. Tasker, I actually could see Tasker in the sideboard. I don't actually like Tasker in this deck. We don't have that many things that go to the graveyard early. That's actually a great cut. I appreciate that. We also have Fatal Push in the sideboard, which could be in the main deck. So could Gideon Jura, technically. I think Scarab God is definitely strong enough to uh, not worry about that. All of our lands are good. That's great. I don't think we want a single island. What do we got? Let's sort by color here. Okay. You're all colorless. Oh boy. If we get cut off, I apologize. I'll try to save what I can. Four, five, six, seven black sources. That's a good amount. Probably going to go to eight and no islands. Three, four, five, six, six white sources. That's not going to do it. Yeah, I think it's actually just four, four here. Oh, we get one more. Well then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven to both. These are even. This is double black and this is triple black. Yeah, we're just going to add another swamp. Uh, I'm not going to. I don't want. We, we have one red card. I'm not going to play. I'm definitely not going to play a, a, a mountain in this deck when you have Gruel Signet and Volcanic Island. And technically Lotus Bloom as well. And Pentad Prism. So we have we have way more than enough blue and red sources outside of adding basic lands of those types. Alright. Let's do it.
League matchmaking failed. Thunder is just Florida's way of letting you know it's a bit after 4 p.m. That's fair. It is 4.39. That is correct. Just wrote an article about stabbing. How can I hit a guy with a hammer? Stab him seven times with the resulting injury is not being considered life-threatening. I don't... How can you hit a man with a hammer, stab him seven times, but the resulting injuries are not considered life-threatening? Hmm? And then you're like, look, I don't have time for your riddles, man. Just, just tell me the answer. Keep on. Oh, a neck stab. That's a that's a classic. Man, I was gonna go get groceries and go to the post office after this stream, man. Also, Hunter's getting getting a little freaked out. Metal worker. Tide hollow sculler. It's just tide hollow sculler here. Leaves a lot to be desired in terms of stabbing strength. Wow, that's that's fantastic. I'm just gonna play this guy. It's probably better than a prism. We don't have anything to prism into just yet. Plus, they could always like spell pierce our prism. Now they have to choose between man. It's <laughs> that's rude. Yeah, we've only dropped 67 frames, and I don't know if they were anytime recent. So I think we're okay. Everybody, yeah, Pentad Prism. All right, well, one, two, three, four, five. If they go, they should make like 20 tokens this turn. I'll say 10. 10 tokens, I think, is, is, is fair. I keep my stabbing strength up with a regiment of windmill slams. Yeah, that sounds like you. That sounds like a, that sounds like a John thing to do. Gideon, ally of Zendikar. I could just let you make a million tokens and then massacre him. That seems like a fun time. Mm -hmm. All right, it's gonna be a sword. You ready? Oh, Scrabble God. Scrabble de doo da. I have six because I don't have anything to do. I really don't have anything going on here. Wow, that was a great draw. Now we can play the Scrabble God without even worrying about it. Don't even worry about it. Scrabble God all day. Scrabble God all day. Yeah, it's raining. There's some rain happening right now. So guys, I'm forewarning you. I may have to stop the stream and... Well, that's messed up. That's probably the saddest thing you could have ever done. I hope they go Lingering Souls, Lingering Souls. Black mana, Lingering Souls, Lingering Souls. That's all I want you to do. And then... Worm's coming for you. They only have three cards in hand, which is not... Not terrible. Don't be a land. You're kind of like a land. I 
We also have Nicol Bolas mana right now, which is pretty cool. We're, we're playing against the Snake Pit Master, which is actually a pretty, pretty scary name. I don't think I'd want to interact with anyone called the Snake Pit Master in real life. Oh. Pass it up. Metalworker. I don't want a Metalworker. I was just calling it because I feel like that's going to be a pretty mediocre draw. It was just a swamp. <laughs> uh, I think we just play this Porcelain Legionnaire. He attack. He block. He he put down a clock. In six turns, they're going to get a free spell. Look how big my... Look how big this Hangerback Walker's getting. They grow up so fast. Ooh, Venturino. I'll play that. When do you start attacking with Hangerback Walker? When is not... When is... Is 4-4 four, four big enough? I guess so. They have three cards. What are these three cards that they have? Interesting. Oh god. Commit? That's not terrible. <laughs> That's like, eh, okay. Oh, it was the end of the turn. I see. I see. Oh, are they going to memory here? Oh, is that what's going to happen? I'm going to have a little memory? That would actually be great for us because then we can probably windmill slam whatever we draw. Of course, um... I'm tempted to just vindicate this, actually. Um, let's get in there with this stupid vent. Vent city. Let's play land first because if they also if they if they have torrential gear hulk and they go torrential gear hulk memory, it's gonna be real sad. I feel like they're torrential gear hulking us right now. I'm feeling real bad about it. Okay, well. They didn't block, so maybe not. I do kind of just want to vindicate your Sheldock Isle, I'm going to be honest. Like, it feels right. Plus, if they ever go to memory, I just want to actually have as few cards in hand as possible, so. Oh, we'll never get to see the face down card. That's so sad. Oh, Wrath of God for a Porcelain Legionnaire. Hanger back, walkie! So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do you just hanger back for a million here? That seems bad, right? I don't think dealing extra two damage is good. We can actually just put two more counters on this guy, which seems fine. Just make a four, four. I see. Well, Mask Worm's gonna really, really do the deed here. <sighs> I think we gotta run this Mask Worm out first, but then, like, they have one card, so they might be inclined to memory next turn. So I'm gonna do... Actually, it doesn't actually even kill... 
the sower. So we're going to do... We're going to worm here. Because Nicol Bolas gaining control of sower actually doesn't gain control of the hangerback walker, I don't, I don't believe. Can you guys hear Hunter's panting? Yeah, he's real... He's real afraid right now. He hates the thunder and the rain. This feels good. Like, this is lethal on boards, so... Still waiting for that Torrential Gear Hulk, though. They gotta have something. Yep, here we go. Mystic Confluence, bounce both, bounce, bounce both, draw a card. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Oh boy. This is like our only reasonable target. I'll kill a land, I guess. There's no creatures on board, no relevant permanence, so. Uh, Hunter's probably right behind the green screen, unfortunately. I'm surprised the mic is actually picking it up. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> So you have three mana to deal with Nikki B. Oh, it doesn't look like that's what's going to happen. This deck is sweet. Does that kill you? Not yet. Let's get rid of this untapped island here. He's actually moving the green screen. Hunter, you got to go, bud. He's actually right here. He's real scared. It's so funny. I'm like, dude, you're like nine years old. You have li you have survived nine years, and you know this doesn't hurt you. Let's go land. Let's go sculler to make sure you see what you got here. Sphinx's Rev, Snapcaster, Mana Drain, Council's Judgment. I'm going to take the Council's Judgment. Six. We can actually... Yeah, this is fine. We're just going to play Worn Power Stone and Porcelain Legionnaire here. Uh, Council Judgment is a sorcery. So I don't know if they had enough mana. They only had one white after they, uh, after they memoried last turn. I agree. I have I have more understanding for dogs doing it too, just because they don't know any better. So they just hear loud noises and they they can also feel it. Like they can feel the like there's times where Hunter starts shaking before it's even thundering out, before it's even looks like rain. And I'm just like, what's up? And then like ten minutes later it'll start raining and I'm like, Oh, I see. Oh, all right. I guess Nicobolus in ultimate wins the game. <laughs> uh, like you do. Fatal push. We didn't really see many fatal push targets. Uh, I think this is actually just fine. Ooh, Rochester Cube sounds legit. Awesome Delp. Hope you have a good time, buddy. Let us know how it goes. Perhaps in the Discord channel. 
Hunter is my spirit animal and my regular animal. Okay, so I was also hanging with a 19 year old son called a bird the week before he died. Oh, man. St. Mantis. 19 years is a great amount of time for a cat, though. Not that it makes it any easier, but that's a good life. I'll keep this hand. Oh, look at that mana rock coming down. This hand does look pretty good. We can draw a lot from Argyle's. The best part about Argyle's Bloodfast in this cube is that it's not really an aggressive cube. Oh, little Dachshund turning 16? That's a good age, too. Hopefully Hunter's got, like, seven years left. That would be great. I've actually thought about, like... It's, it's crossed my mind that Hunter's not going to last forever. And, uh... Boy, that's not a good thought. That That one just kills me. I'm just going to play Signet. I think this is more valuable, especially with the cards in their hand. If they want to, like, uh, daze this or spell pierce this or something, that's totally fine. Oh, man. So many hunters in the chat. Okay, we're never playing Tide Hollow Skuller now, but we will be playing a War and Peace Stone. A war and peace stone. There's no way we can do both things, right? No, we'll just warn power stone here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. That's pretty good. Oh, the weather outside is weather. Hello. So they don't have... They don't have Mystic Confluence mana. So I'm just going to draw here. And we can pay five. So... Cryptic Command. Commit. Deal. Deal. Actually, we can probably do this. Um, we can do this differently. We can go this for Pentad Prism. One of these for Bloodfast. And then draw a card with Bloodfast. Whew. Shibbity bop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have nine mana on board. That's a lot of that's a lot of cards, my boy. Hey, it's the Ancestral Recall. Who saw that coming? 
Now they do have Mr. Confluence mana, though, so I'm not going to walk into that. Instead, I'm probably going to play Tide Hollow Sculler. If they want to steal it, I guess that's fine. They can also steal Metalworker. We have to make Walking Ballista large enough. They can also steal our Colonnade as well. Oh my god, this pet chat is 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 wonderful. If we've got no place to go, then we've got no place to go. That's good. This is a good rendition. Who where is the what what movie is that from? The weather outside is weather. Oh god, it's from it's from uh Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Do it, feel it, pop up. Yeah, that wasn't quite it, but we're gonna figure it out out there. Let's go surfing. Come on. Everybody's learning how. Come on, uh, the weather outside is weather. Well, oh, that's gas. Paul Rudd is wonderful. What an American treasure. Alright, so I'm just gonna blood fast here first off. Because they didn't hit a land drop, so let's hit a land drop. It's going to be right here. Boom! That's kind of like a land drop. They have four cards. We have like a million. But if they commit, I guess we have a lot of things to do. Just let them steal something. My problem with letting them steal something is that... Uh, You know, we, we're taking damage already from the Argyle's Bloodfast, and, uh... I ex the, the Viking, thank you so much, man. Hope you are, too. Day's pretty, pretty alright so far. Stealing is crime. That's correct. That is correct. All right, we're at the end step. Do we just Ancestral here, which lets us free to do anything we want? Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Do you have an answer to Shackles? Yeah, we just play around it. We don't play big things. I don't know. What do you want from me, man? <laughs> I don't think we have an official answer to Shackles, but I, I don't know if we... Hello? I mean, we have 22 cards. I don't think we're decking ourselves. <sighs> yeah, I guess we have Nicol Bolas and Vindicate, because it's a cube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. We can 5 and 5, which is sad, because they can just make a guy, make a play an island and steal our hangy, hangy back. This is a this is a confusing tide hollow skull apparently. This is the mana rock step, that is correct. As you can tell by our board full of mana rocks. <laughs> is this a Mystic Confluence? Yeah, draw two. Alright. Um yeah, okay, I'll pay three. So one, two, three. That's interesting that they chose to do it in such a way that we get to keep the Tide Hollow Sculler. And then we get to take one of the cards that you drew. But, you know, magic's, magic's a good game. Phantasmal Image, Mana Tithe, Consecrated Sphinx. Okay. I guess we'll take the Consecrated Sphinx. Because that's a good card.
All right, so you do have a mana tithe up. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually just go one, two, three, lingering souls, and just leave it like that. And if they mana tithe here, that's great because they might forget about the pentat prism. So, yep, okay. Deal. All right, that was a good turn. So now we know you have Island Image Venser in hand. And if you also, if you uh, choose to commit to memory, you actually don't get to cast anything after that. So this is game game two, match one. You got it. You got it. Uh, what cards am I excited about for nineteen? I'm actually gonna go over that. I'll probably go over that in a frank in a uh, in a in an article for Patreon. Actually, I I really need to look at the set to see what's in there. But there's a ton of cool stuff in M nineteen. I assume you mean Nexus of Power. Is that what it's called? Nexus of Power? Chicken Nexus of Power? Oh, the weather outside is weather. And the weather is weather together. There's no place to go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So we know your hand, right? You played Island. And you played you played Phantasm Image. And you played an Island. So we know you have a Venser and one other card. Unfortunately, there's no creatures in the graveyard. The non-magic player side, uh, he doesn't really, he doesn't really worry too much about the old. Uh, let's suspend that right now. Oh, Apex of Power is a 10 mana red spell? No, not excited about that. <laughs> that card seems like hot trash. I mean, I love that you can draw a lot of cards, I'll be honest, but I don't really care about it. How do we deal with Shield? How do we deal with Consecrated Sphinx? Yeah, we're just going to pass here. They're probably going to vents or something. Probably our Tide Hollow Skeller than play. Shieldred. That's, or not Shieldred, Consecrated Sphinx, which is pretty rough. I don't know how we're going to deal with that, but. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And if they tap off for Consecrated Sphinx, they actually don't have... Oh. I see. Huh. So we don't know what we don't know the two cards in your hand. Mystic Confluence is not an option. They could just commit. They could just memory. Like we have seven cards, six cards in hand. It's probably just Oh, we don't beat Shackles. I didn't know that. I thought we could play I think I thought we would play something like uh Vindicate or or um Oh, that's actually just fine. Let's do that. Yeah, that's cool. I think this is your best time to play memory. Like it would have cost you one less, but 
I mean, you would have actually netted more cards, and we would have netted one card total, and our hand is pretty pretty stacked right now. So we can actually resolve Shieldred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. If we get one more mana... I don't even want to draw here because drawing a mana is the same as like using this mana so nailed it we can actually shoot this guy and then massacre worm but i think we're going to shoulder it here so they have to sack tide hollow sculler so actually i guess we can just walking ballista both of these things for you know better value Just take three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eh. I don't really want them stealing the walking ballista, but I guess this is a lot of damage. They only have five islands, so they have to actually hit a, an extra island here to take Shieldred. Like, it's not really a huge concern of mine. We have tons of spirits. But I guess getting back Fencer is pretty good for them. Um, one, two. Let's go this. Shoot you. Give me back my Massey Worm. Shoot you, shoot you, and I think we're done for the turn. Attack for six seems good. Uh-oh. Freebie. Elspeth, sure. Uh, you just gave us back Massacre Worm, though. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that was pretty good. So now you have Consecrated Sphinx in hand. Did they not even use Elspeth? There we go. All right, we did it. Does this come out yet? No, next turn. So how much black do we have? Only three exactly? That's pretty rough. Can we... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Actually, we can Scarab God and then get back Venser and then just bounce something. That's pretty sweet. We can go Scarab God, they'll try to steal Scarab God, then we can bounce Shackles, they replay Shackles, steal Scarab God again. Hmm. I don't know what to do here, there's a lot of options, we're gonna play land for sure. Um, we could just draw and keep trying to hit Nicol Bolas. Like, it feels pretty safe to do that. However, that does shut off our Scarab God plan. So they go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. They steal probably Scarab God. We get to keep a Venser. But then we're, like, locked into them having Scarab God and us not having a way to deal with the Shackles. So then they can steal the other guy next turn if they want to do it. I think they're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. It still seems like the best play. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can't actually do both of those things and play Consecrated Sphinx. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that is way too much mana. And then we have... Yeah, this seems fine. Thank you. 
We're also still ahead on clock, so that's good. BFC, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Let's re-steal this guy. Let's get back your Venser. Blue. They could negative Elspeth to kill both of these, but that seems weird. Maybe they'll just want their shackles. Yeah, we're going to draw a card at the end of this turn, too. Like, we're getting closer. We have to get closer to Nicol Bolas and to Vindicate. I'm not really scared of Elspeth when we have Mask Worm in hand. feeling that was going to happen. So they still have Consecrated Sphinx and the other dude. Shackles. So we go to 9 and then we go to f 7. We could go to 5 after that. Yep, it's your boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so thirteen. Yeah, that's weird. Sure. Get you back. Draw a card. Draw two, sure. Oh, we should have drawn a response, sure. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, this actually resolves. This is not going to trigger, though, till next turn, so. Nickel Bolas one time. That's not it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five, six, seven. This will do. This will play. Two, three, four, five, six. Mask for worm. What up, Recon Bravo team? Welcome back, buddy. Long time no see. Um, yeah, and then we're just going to go shield red. One, two, three, four. Well, that was pretty rough. Well, that was no fun. Actually, I might lose this game. Unless Nicol Bolas is on the top and they don't have a counter spell. Or they can just do that and slow roll the win. Seems good. All right. Well, good times. We're had by all. Both teams played hard. Yeah, that would have been good. Cotton Buds, have a good night, buddy. Uh, it's only creature... Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, I think this is fine. We don't actually have any great answers to artifacts.
Yeah, I mean, we have Banishing Light, we have Council's Judgment, we have Vindicate, and we have Nicol Bolas for uh, answers to, what do you call it? Shackles? I will play first. I think this hand is actually keepable. We need black, and we need mana rocks, but I think it's fine. Their deck is not very, very fast. All right, let's see if you got it. No days, all right. Not only did they summon a dead Elspeth, they summoned dead Elspeth twice, and that's just that's just rude. Oh, Caracas is interesting. Swamp, please. Girl Signet. It's funny, because it lets us activate Soulfire Grandmaster. Mana rocks all day. Mana rocks all night. What round is this? This is round one, game three. What is this? What are you doing? Cadaxian probe for mana? Wow. Wow. Our hand is insanely clogged right now. Any black, we get to play Shriek Maul or Tide Hollow Scholar. And then we're two lands away from Shouldered. It's okay. It's okay. Did it, boys. I'm one swamp and one worn power stone away from a uh, nickel bolus. Let's take the day of judgment. It's the final countdown. Oh, Shackles, Image, Confluence, and Force of Will. So spicy me to ball. Yeah, we're just going to take Shackles here. I have no responses to anything you're going to do, so. So you played Planes? All right, so you got, we you know, five of your six cards. So here we go. Phantasmal image copy our Tynal Sculler. That seems pretty neat. Neato. Mystic Confluence and Force of Will. So whatever we draw, we can probably play. It's going to be a Lotus Bloom. Okay. I accept. Let's see if you want to Force of Will this. Because you kind of have to. Which means you have to exile Mystic Calm? What? That's impressive. I will trade these. Really? This is all very fascinating. I guess you have Caracas. Sure. But I mean, it, it, it prices you out of actually... You can't Mystic Confluence this turn again. So... Island, got it. I guess they could bounce this guy too, but they only have four islands, so they can't really steal it yet. In before everyone in chat literally says Caracas at the same time.
All right, I'm just gonna get this. Actually, you could Mystic Confluence in response, and then just bounce, bounce, bounce. Seems bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't see a reason. I can't see a world where we don't put that on the top. So. So we have first level Mystic Confluence Island and two other cards. Sure. I'm just gonna take seven here. That's aggressive. Oh, we're definitely making another Sculler. That's one thousand percent what's happening there. Turn target creature to someone's hand. If we can actually. If we had a way to get rid of this guy, that'd be great. So we're gonna actually copy your guy. One, two, three. I'm gonna use blue and black. Choose a creature. If we choose this and keep the new copy, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna choose Scarab God. I'll keep this one. This guy dies so that you don't have a legal target for this. And then you don't get to draw your cards. And then we still got our Scarab God back. So that seems fine. Uh, yep. Also fine. So now they don't have Mystic Confluence. They don't have this island. They have three minutes. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, we'll just keep playing Scarab God, I guess. Okay. I mean, we still got this. The Scarab God keeps coming back. They do have five islands now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shackles. Yep. Give me a Vindicate that they could just promptly counter, I'm sure. Well, this is unfortunate. So we know they have force of will and but they have to win the game in two minutes. Seems very unlikely. Looter. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can shield right here and then they can just hard cast their force of will. Leaves them with one card in hand. I guess they could they could just crack us it as well. So, but I mean, like all this stuff that they're using, like if they have to activate Krakus, if they have to activate Shackles, like all of these things force them to, um, sure, use more of the time that they don't really have much of. So. Mm -hmm. I guess we can shriek them on next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can just actually shriek them on, evoke it. Not not worry about the stupid shackles. Shackles is surprisingly obnoxious, and for the amount of answers that we have to it, I'm actually impressed that. Uh... It's the final power stone. Wow, are you going to Mystic Confluence here? It's impressive. A minute and 11 seconds left on the clock. 
They also got a free... Yeah, nope, don't have the mana for that. I mean, if we Shriek Mod first, they would have just worn... They would have countered the worn Power Stone, so... This actually feels better because, despite having Force of Will in hand, I mean... Massacre Worm's pretty good here. They might have to, uh... Actually waste a Counterspell on a Massacre Worm. Consecrated Sphinx? Elspeth. Yeah, you're probably going to have to use your Counterspell on a Mask Worm at this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ba -da -dum -dum. Ba -da -dum -dum -dum. Wow. Yep, everything is working out perfectly. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to block a token. Oh, they're actually dead. I didn't realize they had, like, zero seconds on the clock. All right. Well, I guess we... I guess our time win was validated from the from the first round. So, cool. Also, if we, if we ended up getting uh, the Scarab God in play, they did have Force of Will in hand, so I doubt it was going to resolve. But they can only do that for so many turns. Then we can actually play Scarab God. Even if they bounce it, we can, in response, make a Massacre Room token and kill them. So we had outs, but they were actually getting pretty pretty far ahead. Uh, we'll play first. Oh, turn one, Pentad Prism. Turn two, Scarab God. Let's do that. Or we can just go turn one, Porcelain Legionnaire. Is that better? Either way, we're going to... I'm going to play this first, because I think it's probably just better to have the five mana next turn. I guess the red deck, I think turn two Scarab God actually is pretty spicy. We don't have any black sources, which is kind of scary. I think that's actually fine, though. Oh, interesting. Well, that's that's something. One black source, and I think we're a-okay. Oh, we got a big fan. Been big fan win incoming. What? That's pretty good. This guy's dead. Oh, your own porcelain engineer. I see. No zombos yet. Oh, we're not attacking with legionnaire here. Done. Uh, I have gotten, I am long since past the point where I feel scummy or regretful winning by time because it's just, it's literally a part of the game. Sneak attack during upkeep. One, two, three. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, biscuits. All right, that's not terrible. Oh, that's pretty bad. Actually, that's not terrible. We get to keep our Scarab God. And they get to lose their Inferno Titan. They have one card in hand. They do deal a lot. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yikes. So we go to 7. Although if we draw a Black Source, we can just kill them on the spot. That's pretty good. Let's Black Source one time. 
That's not a black source at all. Are we dead? I think we might be dead. I think we just hold back here. Okay. Okay, I think we're alive. Black source, black source, black source. Black source, black source, black source. Just give me a black source. That is not a black source. Why are you the way that you are, deck? All right, so we're just going to kill this guy. We have to actually... This is lethal, so... Don't top deck it. Don't do it, man. Wow, that was such a good draw. Oh, it's got pro red. It's less good of a draw. That's fantastic. I totally forgot about the pro red, guys. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm just going to submit like this. I don't foresee any of these other cards being super relevant. Declaration and Stone's pretty bad against the, uh, what do you call it? This hand seems okay. The uh, sneak attack deck, because you're like, oh, it's sorcery. I'll just take a million and then die. Mox off the top. I'll also take just the land, I guess. All right. Actually, I don't think I do want this out now. Do I? Next turn, I go Metal Worker. Yeah, I guess it's fine. We have enough artifacts in hand. Oof. Brutal. I see. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Five mana. Gilded Lotus. I'm probably gonna snack that snatch that Gilded Lotus right up. Or that Nahiri. Actually, can we we can actually sword and not kill Nahiri because she's very, very sizable. Perfect fits, thanks so much. Welcome back, buddy. Appreciate the support, Arenos. Um we only have one white source, but I guess we have two more white sources with Pentad Prism, but then it takes away one, one white source. So I only have one, two, three. Done. So six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually do this for a million. Kill this. For five mana, we get to deal two more damage. We have two cards in hand. We kind of want to get rid of Nahiri. So I'm going to go two of these for Pentad Prism. Uh, use one of the white. Six, seven, eight, nine. So this is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Banishing Light Nahiri. Uh, let's shoot you. I shot you. Come on. Oh, dang it. We didn't play the land this turn. So sad. I watching the Fastbond Step video and realized you're probably streaming. You guys were talking about weird combinations. So Icebreaker Gum and M and MS taste like... What's... M oh, and M and M. So I was like, hey, what's M and MS? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, Metalworker and a Doretti. Mom's spaghetti. Come and getty. Well. One, two, three, four. We have no legendary guys on board, which is nice. We can shoot you.
Attack of your face, sir. Shoot the scrap. Shoot, shoot, shoot scrappy boy. We'll hold that. We got a pentad prism with one counter on it. It's like the most perfect thing ever. All right. I think we're doing it. Something's happening here. Is this upheaval? One, two, three, four. That is not an upheaval. Man, we got walking blister for like a billion. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> well, what do we have drawn? One, two, three, three lands and an Argyles. Two lands, Argyles, well fast into a volcanic island. All right. Well, we're crushing this stip, so that's pretty cool. Just watch the eight plus CMC draft. I like. Li <laughs> Did you just leave a comment on YouTube, Promina? I feel like you might have. Show me on the doll where they touched your spaghetti. All right. Maybe I think I, I think I know who you are. Wink twice if your your initials are JS. Here I'll wink for you. Casual calamity, what's going on, buddy? Long time in OC is right. Oh, you did. I like it. I like it. We did wink twice. Actually, got home from work early and able to tell you the YouTube vids of these stiff drafts have been hot fire. Yeah, thank you so much, man. I'm glad everyone's been enjoying them. I will keep this hand on the draw. Just put the mocks on top and I'll we'll let it slide. Okay. So if we go to your turn, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to nine, then we go to ten. We play land, tide, hollow, sculler. So we go to eight. I think we can wait. Something's happening. Sure. I kind of just want to shriek maw this guy. Oh, how how tempted are we to try to live that dream later? We got Oracle, Sphere, Crater Hoof, Elves. Oracle it is. That hand is a spicy meatball. Unfortunately, you don't really have a way to to do most of these things. Ma Frank, how much do you think it would take you to save your leftover cereal milk and have Mike drink it on air? Just throw up a little mouth worth it? Wow. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Oh, I see. Well then. What did they play? They played Forest and... Finthorn Elves, and then we know exactly what their hand is. I imagine you're taking the Ancestral, but you could also take the Shriek Maw. Yeah, that's what we figured. That's unfortunate. We can't actually... This is a Phantasmal image, actually. I guess all we have to do is target that with something, right? They have five, six mana. We can kill one of these guys. I really want to keep this Shriek Maw, but I also really want to kill one of your things. Uh, I think the look of M M19 looks really sweet. I think there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, 
I'm wearing headphones and I can hear the very high pitched sound in the background. No, is there a fa there is a fan right over here, which is interesting. Uh, one unknown reason bug. Carwood, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate the unknown reason bug. I'm just gonna evoke and kill one of their guys. Like they only this is their hand, so like theoretically we're gonna be keeping this for a while. This guy feels better. Try moving the mic a little bit, but I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Noble Hierarch. All right, so basically we... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, now you're at six. So, whelp. Hey, that's pretty okay. Can we just keep killing your creatures? Feels like it, right? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna hold back. Oh my god, just stop. <laughs> just stop. Lotus Bloom on suspend at some point, please. You want your Oracle back? Six... We're looking for a top deck mask worm here. The, the turn they get their mirror battle sphere is when we want that mask worm to pop down. How nice. And you have exactly four mana left over. Oh, and a land on top. How nice. Wow. <laughs> Some guys have all the luck. Mask worm on top? Is that what we asked for? Where is it? It says cast it. Oh, oh, it's hidden. It's literally underneath one of the windows. That's not a mask room. Just want to be clear about that. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I agree. Have Watsy send me to that thing. Oh god, so close but so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can cast this guy. We're not dead to that, so that's good. I think we can also attack here. If they play Mirror Battle Sphere next turn, it's actually very, very good for us. No, it's not, because we don't have the mana anymore. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I was really excited about Mask Worm, but we actually had to pop the Lotus Bloom to get it. So. So feel bad. Feel feels feel bads for everyone involved. They do, they have to appeal to the Hearthstone audience. Uh, natural order on top. No natural order on top. Carry added on top. It's just battle sphere here, right? And there's nothing we can really do about that. We'd have to draw like Mox other card, and then we're just dead to. Yep. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep, we tried. I mean, we missed three land drops, so. Definitely bringing in Fatal Push.
deck seems good. Probably take out the blood fast. Um, bring in deck and stone. I like Gideon actually. I do like Gideon. He's pretty good. We actually, I don't think we've drawn Chrome Mox once. I will play first. Lotus Bloom seems great here. I'll keep this hand all day. And by great here, I mean it's turn one, and it's in our hand. What more can you ask for? Uh, I don't think land tax would be great. We're also on the play. We also don't have that many... Uh, don't We don't have that many basics. I think we have maybe like seven or eight basics. I guess that's a good amount, but... No mana dork on turn one, huh? Okay, that's interesting. We're almost like <laughs> so close to it. If we draw a Mox, we can actually play turn three Gideon, which is pretty sweet. I mean, to be fair, you only need really one one trigger from uh, what do you call it to be good? What's his name? Lantex. What's his name? I think Soul I think Soulfire Grandmaster is great. Um, two two for two with Lifelink is fantastic, and I mean if you're able to do like Time Walk or um, the other one, I forgot what the other one was called. Ancestral with it, that's just super super gravy. Super gravy. That's correct. Man, signets for days. Sure. I mean, this is where we hope to get uh, Nicol Bolas off the top so we can cast it with our Lotus Pillow, Lotus Bloom, Lotus Bloom and Onion. Never. <laughs> Never lucky. Oh, you're just you're just blocking. Blocking socking robots. Gideon Jura. You must attack me. Come at me, bro. Super gravy is when you leave the gravy bubbling too long and it becomes a paste. That sounds disgusting. Oh, I got a little bit of super gravy going there, huh? Yeah, that's just gravy paste now. Some guys have on the look. I mean, getting Jura is no joke against the blue green deck. They also have this overgrown tomb and this is a signet, so it's basically just five color deck. Yeah, I think we're just doing the same step. Sure. Probably gonna shoot this idiot just because uh, I don't want you to block Gideon because that's what that's what that's how clocks work. I guess we can wait. That's actually pretty good.
this is a great draw because now we can actually activate colonnade. Yep, you're going to do all this nonsense. So we get to deal 11 this turn? That's good. So you're at eight. <sighs> Seems pretty good. It's game one or game it's game two or game three. I felt like we won the first game, but maybe not. They all just run together. Image on top. Demonic Tutor. No longer an image on the top. Deliverance. On top. So we can actually, oh, okay, we're I was just like, oh, we can we can actually crack this and use this to put a counter on this guy, kill your oracle, and uh, where did the deliverance go? I have no idea what just happened. Oh, did they draw a card? Oh, they drew the next card. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I was like, where did it go? Oh, I like this hand. It's not a turn turn one anything, but it is a turn two metal worker, which is nice. I guess hope you don't have weird counter spell. It's a long pause. All right, well we haven't. Whoa, metalworker resolved. Oh boy, this is this next turn is going to be legit. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana if they don't have deliverance, which they probably do. They don't. Oh, smokums, McMokums. That's not a thing people say, but. Um, I'm going to assume I have more artifacts than you do, by a large margin. Suspend you. Two, Sculler. Mirror Battle Sphere. All right. One, two. I'm just going to take the Oracle here. Yeah, your hand's pretty bad, unfortunately, for, for you. Eight, nine, ten, five. Yes, yeah, so we can go Batter Skull. Sword. Equip sword. Um, I think we're in good shape here. Uh, suspending blue might not be correct, but we want the colors as well. So, like, if we draw nickel bolus or something, we want to be able to have mana for that. And we really don't. We're going to empty our hand here, so we actually don't need the metal worker mana for anything theoretically.
That's a thing, I guess. So they cracked, they played Verdant Catacombs, and so on the other hand is Island Battlesphere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they have to block with Avacyn's Pilgrim. Sure. Yeah, I feel like actually leaving the leaving the battle sphere in their hand seems bad, but I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, now they can just cast it, which is so brutal. Sure. Still think we're in good shape here, though. Massacre worm. That's not a massacre worm at all. I mean, I almost like Sword on the Germ better than Batter Skull on the Sculler, but that does make it an 8-8, which is pretty humongous. Like, we're trading a Sculler for a mere Battle Sphere, basically. Which is just fine. Everybody in the front. You got it. All right. You got it. Elder on top. No land. Okay, so you basically have nothing. You have nothing. I wish we had one evasive creature here. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, one, two, done. Sword. Equip. So we're one short of doing everything, aren't we? Yeah, we're not going to crack this Lotus Bloom. We're just going to keep getting eight every turn and eating your... Eating your mirrors, I guess. Signet seems good. Not like you care, you're just going to crack this guy. Shambling does have lifelink. That is a that is a good observation, friend. Friendo. Crack this guy immediately, I would imagine. So search your lives. Carry added. That is a fine card to draw. Hostage taker. I mean, yeah, that's fine. We're going to give this pro blue, pro black, so that is okay. Oh, I guess you could steal one of the artifacts, though, and that's pretty... Oh, boy. That was a good draw. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We do this for six. We get to hit one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, that kills their whole board. One, two, three, four. And then they can play like a sword or... Yeah, they could actually play Batter Skull. So maybe we want to keep three up in case they Batter Skull. So we'll keep up the Lotus Bloom mana. And we'll just go one, 
Actually, I just want to kill these three. So can I do this for six and then equip and then keep all my mana up? Maybe I want to do it for four. So eight, right? And then they only have green dudes. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually difficult. Kill, kill, kill. That's going to take three. We want Ballista to survive, though. Yeah, all right, we're going to do it for 10. I think that's correct. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we can still activate. For 5. Done. Yeah, this is this this feels right. I think it just wins us the game. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Sweet 3-0 with the Matthew Ori stipulation. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate the support. If you guys have not done so, check me out on Patreon or Twitch. Both of those things, uh, supporting me on both of those forums is very helpful. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys have your own stipulation you want to propose, feel free to check out my, my Twitch profile for information on how to do that. And I'll uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check you guys out later.